What's up, everybody? Welcome to Wetumpka, Alabama. I'm gonna show you guys my beautiful vintage banjo that I just picked up here locally. And I'm just gonna do a quick video, nothing fancy. Um, as you guys know, the banjo is part of uh, Southern history, culture. Uh, what a little bug on me right there, get away. So this guy is really vintage and antique. Um, I wanted more of a musical instrument. This may be more of a vintage collection piece type of thing. It's absolutely gorgeous if you look at the detail of it. It's not in the bat the worst of shape. Um, it's not in the best shape either, but it is kind of a beautiful instrument. Um, the banjo probably originated in the Caribbean islands in the 1700s. Uh, there's a lot of dispute about the history of this instrument. But it's believed that it originated in the Caribbean islands and uh, through African slaves was brought to the southern region of the United States where then it became part of Irish history as well. Uh, so it's an instrument with a lot of history that connects uh, the southern region of the United States to um, you know, the Caribbean islands, to Ireland. It's a beautiful uh, instrument. And this one's probably from the 60s. Uh, it's not in the best of shape, as you can see. This may be more, I wanted a real instrument that I could play. This may be more of a, of a vintage thing to hang up on a wall, uh, just for looks. It's absolutely gorgeous. It does need a lot of work. Uh, one of the things that I noticed is that the strings are crossed right here, the fourth and the fifth one, they kind of cross each other because I didn't, uh, they didn't really uh, do it the right way. The banjo has a short string right here. And uh, this kind of uh, controls the short string right there. And uh, let's put it right in its case. It even came with a case. Um, I don't know if I did good or not on a purchase. They had it for 250 and uh, I got it for 150, which is probably the top end of what it's worth in the condition it's in. Um, it's nonetheless a beautiful thing to hang up on a wall or something at least. Um, I do want to take it to a music shop and see if I can get it a kind of, uh, I wouldn't say restored, that would probably cost more than it would ever be worth. But at the very least, put some strings on it. That way it can have some type of acoustic value. So there's my uh, Kent banjo that I picked up in Wetumpka, Alabama. It's uh, it's got a few little scratches there, but for the most part, it's not in too bad of a shape. Um, and it's not completely destroyed yet. And on a more positive note, uh, I just got a call from a government agency, and they really like what I'm doing here in Alabama. So they're going to hook us up with a few resources, hopefully, so we can do a better job. So that's my banjo, my banjo. You know what I'm talking about. So uh, I've absolutely no acoustic value at this point. We're gonna see if we can get this thing. I like how the, the acoustic effect it has, even on your voice, if it's just talking near it. Talking near the banjo. Gives you like an echo effect. I love the echo effect that it has. All right, guys. So checking out from beautiful Wetumpka, Alabama. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are. We're out.